Hi, so tonight what I'm gonna do for you guys is show you a little bit about what our Taste Buds subscription is. You get this in the mail once a month. You get three cards and you get the recipe on the back and you have, and you also get your packets of different seasonings. This seasoning I'm using tonight is the ranch popcorn seasoning. But what I did, is, uh, what it calls for is to use uh, chicken legs, which I didn't have any chicken legs, so I just had the chicken breasts and I, I used them and I noticed that the chicken legs would have been a little bit more moist than what I did with the, the breasts, so you'll see that when I bring it out of the oven. Um, and instead of the green beans that it had on here, I had um, broccoli, so I was using the broccoli. But with the chicken, what it did, it called for the ranch seasoning with some flour, yellow cornmeal, um, ranch, the ranch popcorn seasoning like this, uh, drumsticks and baking powder. And you just coat those and you put them in the oven in your bar pan. And then at the other end of the bar pan, you put in your veggie, which it, whichever you want, which uh, whether you have a green bean or whether you have um, the broccoli like I did. So then what they called for is, uh, it just tells you the meal. So when you are busy, you wanna come home from work, you don't wanna to have to think about cooking, what this does is this helps you, uh, gives you ideas on what you can do with your meal. So I uh, got some potatoes, I quartered them, all right, I chopped them up, put them in the, uh, in the pan to boil, and then, I brought them out and I'm going to add the potatoes that they call for. I just want you to put a little bit of the ranch popcorn seasoning in it, but I'm going to put a little bit of cream cheese in it along with the butter and just a little bit of milk because you don't need as much milk when you get the cream cheese in there. And I'm using my mix and chop to actually um, mash it all up and get it all mixed together, stirred together, and you can see how it is mashing up really good. I'm gonna add some milk into it now and let it get a little bit thinner so I can uh, mash it a little bit easier. So this is basically just mashed potatoes with a twist. And I'm gonna put half a teaspoon of the ranch popcorn seasoning in it and it comes in a resealable bag. So you can use this one time and then keep it and use it for popcorn or use it for whatever you want to use it for. So we're gonna put this in here, just like that. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. Now, if you had your mixer, you could use your mixer and um, mix it up. But I'm just, tonight I'm just doing smashed potatoes with my mix and chop to get them really just smashed up, not whipped up. Uh, and just continue to do that. And I'm gonna go over and take out my chicken. So you can see right here, the mashed potatoes, they're I'm gonna put them back on the stove keep them warm while I'm getting the other things out of the oven. Get all that out of there. And so let me put this down and get the chicken out of the oven. So Really, it's real easy. This takes about 10 minutes prep time, and then the rest is 30 minutes. I left it in there a little bit too long, but you can see the chicken on one end of the bar pan and the uh, broccoli and veggies on the other end. And it was looking really good. Still looks good, it's just a little bit more brown than what I wanted it to be. But it, uh, it's really good and I'm gonna plate it up, gonna taste it, and I'll put something in here to let you know what it tastes like. All right, you guys, have a great evening.